Hey guys, it's me, Carrie. Happy Valentine's Day. I know some people actually hate Valentine's Day, and I was one of them for a really, really long time. I was such a social outcast all growing up through high school, through college. I didn't have my first boyfriend until I was 25 years old. I know that's really sad, but it is the truth. So I hated Valentine's Day growing up. And yes, I'm obsessively fixing my necklace, so hope is facing the right direction. But I hated Valentine's Day. It just made me so depressed. I always felt like, you know, I was alone. I was a loser. No one would ever want to date me. I would just be miserable and, you know, just never be happy. So I hated it. And it was the worst in school. Like once you got to like middle school, junior high school, high school, especially because they would have like, you know, send a rose or send a chocolate or send a whatever to your friends or your, you know, significant other or whatever. And I never got any. I was just such a damn loser. <laughs> I mean, I had friends in high school, but not a whole huge circle. And I was never popular. I was always the shy, nerdy girl that had her face stuck in a book. But anyway, so I hated Valentine's Day for most of my life. And I'm not going to say I love it now because I'm married, even though obviously I love my husband. But I love Valentine's Day now because I recognize that it's about more than just romantic love, at least in my book. It's not you know, I don't look at it as the Hallmark holiday that it kind of is. I have a different perspective on it now. I think Valentine's Day is about all kinds of love, whether it's love for your significant other, love for your friends, love for your family, love for your pets, just about love in general. And do I need a special day to celebrate love? Hell no. But is it nice? I guess it's kind of a nice thing. So anyway, happy Valentine's Day, you guys. This really is apropos of nothing because this is a friend mail that I'm about to open. I got three friend mails today. I am legitimately blown away. I got home from the rescue where I volunteer at a little after two. I ran to Walgreens really quickly because my friend Billy in Virginia texted me and said, oh my gosh, girl, run, do not walk to Walgreens. They're having massive clearance on lip smackers and she got like chapsticks for like 19 cents. And of course I ran there and there was nothing clearance in my store at all. And the girl looked at me like I had two heads and she's like, well, unless they have like seasonal stuff maybe in the Virginia store, but we don't have anything on clearance. So I was like, boo, hiss, that, stu that sucks. But then my husband, I... Uh, Billy had texted me because I knew she sent me a friend mail that she saw the tracking. It had arrived today and my husband's like, uh, I've got news for you. You've got three huge packages to open when you get home. So I was blown away and so shocked. It, you can see over my right shoulder back there, that basket of joy. That is my gift from my mom that she gave to my husband and I. It's full of all sorts of delicious chocolates and savory snacks and goodness. And I got some lip balms too. I can show you guys that in another video. But the point of this one with the long preamble is to get to the first of my three friend mails. I am so freaking spoiled and grateful today. Most days, but especially today. And I hope I didn't just show my address on camera, but you know, them's the breaks, I guess, if I did. But anyway, this one is from my dear, 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 beloved heart sister, Weirdette. Please subscribe her channel if you haven't already. She's just the most wonderful girl. I adore her so, so, so much. I literally, if I could have chosen a sister for myself, I couldn't have chosen a better one than her. She's so wonderful. I absolutely adore her. She said to me that she wanted to send me a little Christmas package. And she, she said that this is my very belated Christmas package, which, girl, you didn't even have to do that in the first place. But she's so wonderful. I'm trying to make sure I don't show addresses, but I do want you guys to see how beautifully she decorated this whole box all around with these amazing, adorable stickers, Tsum Tsums, and there's some Minions, and it's so stinking cute that I have to save this box, and I'll probably let my cats play in it until they tear it to shreds, but I had to show you the big box first on camera. Now I'm going to put it over here beside me so that I don't have to keep worrying about the address being shown. Sorry, sniffles. I'm trying to prop it up on top of something so I can reach into it easier. And anyway, here we go. All right, on top we have this beautiful tissue with these spangly, sparkly little sequins that I just love. I normally, me being me, I would recycle it and reuse it, but I've got to stop hoarding things. I do not need to hoard tissue paper, so I'm going to be a good girl and not save that. 
But anyway, even though I know in a way it would be being a good girl if I did save it because it's recycling, but I know, I know, babbling. But anyway, here is my card. Ah, and she drew this cute little kawaii little kitty cat on it. She's so awesome. She's also an awesome artist on top of all of the many other talents she has. And look at the cute little sticker she put on the back. It's like a little bun with like a little like snacky pastry bun with a little heart. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I will be saving the front of the envelope where she wrote my name because I do cut things like that out and put them in my junk journal and I was able to peel the envelope open so I'm going to try to save the sticker with it but I'm so excited Ooh, and it's a silver envelope it's so pretty oh my gosh okay here is the card and again this is belated Christmas oops there are stickers falling out holy crap okay so I'm going to just show you the card first as long as it's not private let me just scan here Okay. I don't think she meant this to be private. I hope you didn't, honey. But it says, Dear Carrie, hey, sister, I'm so sorry this Christmas present is coming super late, but I hope the goodies inside make up for it. Girl, just you being my friend is enough. You don't ever have to send me anything ever. Um, I'm so happy for you hitting 1,000 subscribers, sister. You are one of the most genuine, honest, charismatic, loving, and entertaining people on YouTube and in person. Oh my God, I heart you. You are my best friend, sister from another mister, and role model. You deserve to have 1 million, oh sorry, 1 billion subscribers. <laughs> I'm not mathematically inclined, obviously. I love you so much, sister. I don't know what I would do without you. Love, Marilyn. Oh my God. I just love you so much. And then on the other side, she wrote, you are the best sister ever with a little sticker of, I'm covering up her last name because that's her private business. And I love that she wrote her last name. Girl, I would have known it was you in a million years. And the little Dumbo, how cute is that? And she stuck in some garbage pail kids, which I never knew that she collected. I have several that are like the super vintage ones, like the original series from the 80s that were my brothers. So they, as you guys probably know, if you're not brand new here, you may not know. I had a brother. He passed away in 2012. December 21st um, of pancreatitis after many, many years of alcoholism and drug addiction, primarily alcoholism. Um, he did a lot of drugs, but it, the, it was the booze ultimately that did him in. And my heart breaks every day for that loss. And I feel like in many ways he came, came out to my family in terms of admitting his addiction when he was 15 and he died at 36. So I feel like 21 years I didn't actually even have my brother then, which really breaks my heart. For the first 15 years, we were close. We had common friends. You know, we were we played together when we were little. You know, I have so many wonderful memories of my brother from growing up. But in our adult years, you know, I lost so much time with him. And ultimately, now there's no more time left to be had. So anyway, RIP Jeff, I miss you. But um, the point of bringing up my brother was that I have a lot of Garbage Pell kids that were his private collection that are the vintage ones, and I do have some duplicates, and I told Marilyn that I, when I found out she collected them, that I will definitely be sending her some, and no, sister, that they are precious to me because they belong to my brother, but I'm going to send you some because you're super special to me, and like I said, if I could have chosen a sister, you'd be exactly who I would choose. I love you so, so, so much, but anyway, you guys, so first up in here, we have got these amazing Garbage Pail Kids, and this one, of course, I'm obsessed with. Let me just get the little tape off. It says, Coughed Up Kitty, and it's like a parody of Hello Kitty, and she's, like, throwing up a rainbow, and that is so me in, like, Garbage Pail Kid form. Oh, my gosh, like, not even, like, not even kidding. Okay, let me just get the tape off here, because she taped them in very carefully, which was super smart, because I legit probably wouldn't, and they would have been flying all over the envelope. Okay, I know I could like pause while I'm doing this, but I'm just going to chat with you guys. This is going to be a long video, just steal. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. But I think honestly, especially of all videos that I shoot, and I don't edit except to like hit the pause button when I'm, you know, taking a break from something. I don't know how to do any other type of editing on my phone. I don't have any special software. I just have a really like crappy Samsung Galaxy, an old, old, old model. But um, 
of all videos that I wouldn't want to edit in any way, shape, or form, it is friend mail videos because the fact that you guys take the time and spend money and give out of the goodness of your heart handmade gifts or gifts chosen with me in mind and just give me anything, a letter, a card, a postcard, anything, it means so freaking much to me. I can't even begin to express it to you. As I said at the top of this video, I didn't have a lot of friends most of my life. In real life, like in-person friends, I still don't have that many friends. Most of my friends are scattered far and wide and people that I've met through social media or even people that I've known in real life that I mostly keep in touch with on social media. So I'm sorry, I'm just moving my chair forward. But I just want you guys to know that as someone who's felt like a loser and a failure and like just a freak most of my life, the fact that any of you guys give a crap about me now is so moving and overwhelming. And I, from the bottom of my heart, I'm so grateful to you guys for the love and support you have shown me. It means the world. And I, I truly cannot overstate that. So I'm not editing this video. It's going to be long and like I said, if you don't want to watch it, that's fine. But I'm going to go through this with a fine tooth comb because Marilyn took the time to choose these goodies and send them to me. And I want to sh just celebrate how wonderful she is. So anyway, we have that one. We have... Oh, there's a little more tape hiding. That's okay. Oh, how cute is this one? This one's Hoodie Harlan. And he's super cute too. Uh, I, I kind of have to angle him like this so we don't get a glare. And we have, ah, oh, New Year's Eve. Oh my gosh, it's Times Square. <gasps> I'm a New Yorker. I live on Long Island, so not in the city, but very close. Like about a 40-minute train ride from New York City. Revolving Ryan. Oh my gosh, I love these. And because these are the newer edition, I don't have any of these. I haven't been collecting Garbage Pail Kids as much as um, Wacky Packs or Wacky Packages, depending on where you are. They're called different things. But I love Garbage Pail Kids because they give me feels of my brother, you know. So for no other reason, I love them for that. And this one is Eaton Ethan. I love that. It reminds me of Jaws, which, of course, I love that movie. Dodge Bill <laughs> instead of Dodgeball. That's awesome. And Tiny Tim. Oh, my gosh, with this cute little spider. Ah! It's like Charlotte from Charlotte's Web Run Amok. I love these so much. Thank you so much, honey. And then... She had commented that she had gotten some super, 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 super cute doggy stickers in a kawaii box, and they are Shiba Inus. I have two cousins. My cousin George, who is also my godson and the father of, I guess technically he's my second cousin, Lucas, who just turned three last month, who I absolutely love and adore, and I love George's fiance Jen, too. She's like another sister from another mister. I adore her. But um, anyway... Both George and his sister Kate, who, of course, I also adore, his middle sibling. They're, Jesse's the oldest, then there's Kate, and then there's George. But anyway, and then there's George. Okay, if you guys are old school, you'll get the mod reference. If you're not, just ignore my stupid singing. But anyway, <laughs> um, George and Kate both have Shiba Inus. Georgie has the typical one that I guess most people would stereotypically associate with Shiba Inus, the red color. And then... Um, and that is Max. And then Madison is the black and white. And that is the one that Kate has. So I have a special spot in my heart for Sheba's. So there are all these adorable little, it looks just like Maxie with this big grin. And I love that there's both colors because there's Maxie dogs and there's Madison dogs. And they don't have one that's a tan color like that. But I wouldn't be surprised if they got one eventually because... That family loves their Sheba's and I don't blame them because they're freaking amazing. There's two like this. I think there were two of this one, I don't remember. But, oh my gosh, these are so... Oh my god, look at the butts! <gasps> look at the butts! Oh, can you even? <gasps> They're so cute. And yes, I'm showing you each one. Just deal, people. Because <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I think this one's supposed to be lying on his back with his tummy showing. And then this one with the little friendies there. And last but not least, this adorable little maxi dog. I freaking love these. She'd mentioned that she got these in her video. And I was like, dude, seriously, if you, you know, have any kawaii stickers you want to part with, feel free and <laughs> send them my way because I love them. And I don't think she necessarily wanted to part with them, but she shared. And I think that was so awesome of her. So thank you. And I know we're only on the card and we're 14 minutes in. Hit pause, get yourself a beverage, a tasty snack, do what you got to do, go to the bathroom, do whatever, because this is going to be going for a while guys and we got two more friend mails coming after this but they'll be separate videos of course because i'm not a total you know masochist or masochist 
Is that the right word when you want? No, masochists make some make themselves suffer. I don't know what the right word is for mass for like a masochist that tortures other people, but I don't know. Maybe it is the right word. I don't know. I'm an idiot sometimes, but anyway, I'm not going to make you be tortured to watch like a three hour video. Is my point? <laughs> this adorable, beautiful Christmas bag is next, and it says to my favorite sister on, and it's a star. Shut up! It's a star. It's a silver star, which of course isn't sh reading on camera right. And it says to my favorite sister on the back. Uh, dang it. There it is. There it is. Okay. So of course I'm going to have to untie the ribbon afterwards and save this because this is going in my junk journal too. Of course. Obvs. And there are so many goodies in here. Holy cannoli, you guys. Look at all these beautifully wrapped goodies in this bag. Are you freaking kidding me, Marilyn? Holy cannolis. Okay, so first one, we have this one here. Shake a, shake a, shake a. It sounds like something fun. Anything that makes noise is fun, right? And I like this paper, too. It's actually not paper. It's like plastic. It's like sparkly, foily plastic wrap. It's super awesome wrapping paper. Oh, my gosh. I love these. I love to color so much. So these are freaking epic. These are adorable little kawaii colored pencils. And they come with the sharpener in the lid because I am such a dork and I'm always losing things like forever, like misplacing stuff. So there are the beautiful colored pencils inside. And then right in the lid is the sharpener, which is genius because it's idiot proof even for me the idiot so I won't lose my sharpener thank you thank you thank you oh my gosh I'm so stoked right now okay cool so I will just and this tissue paper my cat would go nuts for except I noticed that sometimes with the sparkly tissue paper that you can they can actually get the confetti out and I don't want them to eat it because they're not the sharpest knives in the drawer but I will put the tissue paper in the box for now so that way I can kind of tidy as I go along. All right, we got so much more to go here. Here is the next one. That one doesn't make any sound. Not that shaking it gave me any idea what it was anyway, but this is so much fun. Oh my God, girl, you spoil me rotten. It's freaking ridiculous. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at this pocket back holder. It's an ice cream cone, and I love it because you can fill it with any kind you like. It is not like the super crappy Bath & Body Works style ones now that Marilyn and I both agree we don't like that new style because they leak and they're hard to refill. This one is just empty and ready to be filled with whatever pocket back I choose. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh my God, you are so awesome, girl. All right, next we got this one. I don't know why I'm groping, because it's not like I'm feeling up a blind bag or anything. I'm not even going to try to guess what things are. I'm just having fun being a dwarf. Being my, my, um, what is the word? A dorkable self? I don't know. No, because that's implying that I'm adorable as well as being a dwarf. And I don't necessarily think I'm adorable. I am adorkable, though. I am definitely a dork. So we'll go with that. We'll just say I'm a dwarf. <laughs> I'm baffling. All right, we've got this awesome bag of fabulous stickers. I'm so excited. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. This is just too cool. Too cool for school, even though I'm way too old for that. All right, we've got these fabulous little emoji faces. Oh, the crying one. I use that one all the time. Like the sobbing tears. I use that one all the time in like texting and Facebook and what have you. Then we have some adorable kawaii puffy bows. I love them. I love them. Oh, excuse me. I'm burping. My husband just made us the most delicious Chinese food for lunch. He made us some dumplings and some pot stickers and some uh, brown rice vermicelli. And it was so delicious. And green beans. And it was so good. But I'll probably be burping throughout this video. These are so cute. Do I have them upside down? Yeah, of course I have them upside down. If there's a 50-50 chance of screwing things up, you know that I'm going to screw it up. But these are so tiny and so cute. I love them. And we have some awesome minions. And this is a topic of discussion I've brought up several times. I have not yet seen any of the Minions or Despicable Me movies. I know for shame. And I really want to because I think the Minions are adorbs. And then here is the rest of the page. So she cut it down to make it fit. Very smart. I do that sometimes too. 
And then, of course, these fabulous owls, which I love because owls are one of my favorite animals. My number one favorite animal is manatees. I love them to pieces, but owls are right up there too. Obviously cats. I'm getting kind of semi-obsessed with sloths lately. There's, I mean, really, there are no animals that I don't love. I'm afraid of snakes, but I still love them. And then we have this super cute bag here with this adorable sticker that, yes, I will try to salvage, even if I have to cut around it. Although if I peel really carefully, oh, it's peeling up. I might be able to just stick it in my junk journal as is. I love this black and white bag, too. And in here we have, oh, my gosh, so cute. Oh, shut up. This is from a company called Petite Polly. It says, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna post, well, let me just hold this up close so you can get the links there. I don't know if this is coming in clearly, so I will post the links in the Dropbox. But this is an indie company, petitepoly.etsy.com. There's also a Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and hashtag Petite Polly. But that is the sticker, is like the logo for this company. Oh my God. And it's a little bracelet and it says, we go together like milk and cookies. And it's the little milk charm. Oh my gosh. I am obsessed with this. I'm going to put it on my wrist as soon as I get off camera. But what I want to do first is I want to take a picture of it with the card so I can hashtag Petite Polly on social media and shout her out because I love all indie creators and I always like to support small businesses. Marilyn, this is so stinking precious. And the milk carton has like a little heart on it. And it's sky blue because she knows that's my favorite color. I freaking love you so much. You put in such care and thought into choosing things like that personally are so me. And I just, oh, I just love you to pieces. You're so awesome. Oh my gosh. This is overwhelming. I'm really seriously like losing my mind right now. Okay, we got another fabulous wrapped goodie here. Ooh, that one makes a shake a shake. -a. Okay, let's see. I can't even deal right now. I have to stop and take a, a beverage break. Hold on. This, by the way, you guys, if you've ever gone to a restaurant, this is from Popeye's. It's been in my fridge for like a couple of days. But if you ever go to Popeye's or any of the places that have the freestyle Coke vending machines, like where you can go up and get the fountain drink and you can mix your own, I highly recommend the Minute Maid Peach Diet Drink, or I think it's Diet. I think it, there's a diet one and a non-diet one, but the peach fruit drink is so freaking delicious, and it's not like a soda where if you keep it in your fridge for a few days, it goes flat, and of course, if it's like free refills, you know I'm going to fill my cup before I leave, hence the extra beverage days after we're having Popeye's, but that's what I'm drinking right now. It's so freaking good. It's probably not good for you, but at least it's very low in calories, so that makes me happy, and less guilty drinking it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's a little kawaii stationery set. Oh my gosh. Okay, I want to try to get off as much of the tape as I can. I can, I can like fart around with it later and get it perfect, but eh, I just want to get it so that I can show it to you properly. But it is so cute. It's a little pencil case. What does it say? Hi, little animals. I, hello, my little animal friends. And it says hello with a W at the end. Because sometimes the kawaii stuff is misspelled. And I'm anal retentive. Like, I was an English major in college. So I'm uh, that just makes it extra funny to me <laughs> when I th see things like that that are misspelled. It's like, did, did nobody proofread this? Obviously, English is not the first language of whoever printed it. But she put in all kinds of wonderful goodies. These cute little stationery sheets. I love this paper. She put in this really pretty striped washi. I love all washi tape. Never met any I didn't like. Oh, is this a choker? Oh my gosh. It's a star choker. Oh, shut up. Oh, that's going on like right this instant. I know I'm wearing another necklace. And I don't usually wear anything with my, my, um, my Hope necklace because things get tangled with it. But I don't care because this is a choker and it's not going to get caught. 
me just get this on and not tangle it with my hair. Hopefully, there we go. That is so stinking adorable. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's velvety and it's so pretty. And Marilyn's favorite color is purple. So that makes it, it's like a combination of us because it's her favorite color and it's a persevering star. So I'm obsessed. I love it. I love it. I love it. Then we've got a little pencil sharpener that says Animal Friend. It's so cute and it's all blue stuff, which is always wonderful. This teeny tiny adorable eraser that says, hi, smart bear on it. I don't know if I'm the smartest bear, but this bear is smart. Then we've got a little, oh, this is cute. I love this because it's a ruler, but the bottom edge is scalloped. So like if you're decorating things, you can use that scalloped edge to draw a pretty line, which I will definitely use in decorating my junk journal. Hold the phone. I just want to make this a little bit looser. I'm going to put it on like the loosest setting it can come on. I know there is a looser setting. I just want it to be as loose. There we go. Okay. I do love chokers, but I don't I actually like to feel that choking thing, if you know what I mean. So it's just a little bit loose and it feels perfect now and I love it. Then we've got adorable little pencils. If I can get them out. Ow, and a pen too. It's an one says Tong Tong Club and it is super cute and it's got like a little bear working out. It says one, two, and the little bear's in a, like a sweatband. It's like reminds me of Jane Fonda workout. I know, way before your time, Marilyn, but oh, they're both like that. They're so cute. My 80s and 70s born ladies, you know, you know the Jane Fonda workout. Oh, and this is a pencil too. It's a mechanical pencil though. And this one says hello. And it's got this lineup of adorable kawaii friends. And you can just, you know, how mechanical pencils work. I don't have to explain that. My subscribers are super smart. And of course, yes, OCD issues. Got to put everything back where it came from. I know I'm wasting your valuable time, but I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Super cute. And there's still more in this glorious bag of joy. We've got this little item right here that's soft. So let's see what this is. This is so amazing. I'm like blown away. Oh! I was going to say it felt squishy. It is, in fact, a squishy. Oh, my God. It's a Blippo unicorn squishy, and it's blue. I wonder if this... Marilyn told me there was something she was waiting for to come to be shipped to her before she set this package. I'm wondering if this is it, because I have ordered from Blippo, too. Blippo is the parent company of Kawaii Box and um, several other subscription boxes, but they and they ship for free. But they take forever, so this may very well be what she was waiting for. But it was worth it, because I love it so much. Oh my gosh. I'm seriously naming this Weirdette. This is my Weirdette Squishy. Oh my god. And it's, let me say. I know there's proper squishing technique people claim. I don't care. I squeeze them how I like. Oh, it's slow rising too. I think it's pretty slow rising. I love this. Yes, this is Weird At, my unicorn squishy, and I'm obsessed with her. I love her so much. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking crazy. There are still one, two, three, four more things in here. All right, one is wrapped in gold and three are wrapped in red. So we're going to save the gold one for last. Just, I don't know why we just are. Okay, this is hard. Let's see. This is really crazy. I can't even believe you did all this, honey. You're so amazing. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, there's tape. Let me get the tape. Let me get the tape. Just pull it off in one nice, neat swipe. There we go. This is a beautiful little date book. I love this. And I don't actually have a pocket date book for this year. I love these to just keep in my purse and keep track of my life. I have a great big, huge one right here that I got from a dear friend and another friend mail. There's my little life. And on the back are pages you can color. So I have that. But I didn't have a small one for this year, at least not that I remember buying. So that's perfect. So I love this. I love the polka dots. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is crazy. Okay, we got three more goodies. We got this one. Ooh, what is this? Oh, how cute are these? I've never tried these before. I've seen them, but I've never tried them. These are popping candy with lollipops. So basically, they are like pop rocks, but you get a lolly too. So you can like actually like eat the lollipop and as you like suck on the lollipop, you can dip it in the popping candy. 
almost like you know you would do with like liquor made with a liquor stick and the powder except it's a lolly and popping candy or you could just eat them separately if you're boring but you got to mix it up in my opinion so we've got blue raspberry strawberry and green apple oh those are gonna be fun i'm so excited persevering noms maybe all right next up we've got one more red package and one more gold package this is so crazy you are so awesome girl holy cannoli oh my gosh i see hello kitty i'm stoked already I love this. Oh my gosh. Look at this adorable. It's one of the little tin pencil cases or pen cases. And it says, Hello Kitty, you cannot improve your past, but you can improve your future. Once time is wasted, you life is wasted. <laughs> it looks like it says you life. U L I F E. <laughs> and that just makes me giggle because you don't want your life to be wasted, people. So don't waste your life. Oh my God, that is so precious. I love it so much. And the color is so pretty on the back. It's adorable too. Oh my gosh, I love it. And it's got an L on it and everything. And why is there a T? Because kawaii stuff is random as hell. But I don't care because I love it. It's T, T for terrific because that is what Weird at is. I love it. I love it. I love it. It is so stinking adorbs. Ah, I love it. And it's got the little tray inside. Oh my gosh. And that's <laughs> it's E and A. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything more about that, but you can figure it out. But it's got actually multiplication timetables inside too, but that just cracks me up. And then the little tray comes out and it's got the little design on the bottom too. So you can do two levels. But yeah, if you don't get what TNA means, good. That means you're a pure, innocent soul, and you shouldn't know what that means. And if you do, you're like me, and yeah. <laughs> We're just going to leave it there. All right, guys. And last but not least, we have this gold item that is also smushy and feels like a plushie of some kind to me. We shall see. Ooh, I see blue already. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's so cute. It's a little blue Easter bunny. See, she managed to not only represent Christmas, but Valentine's Day with those candies and freaking Easter. How good is this girl? I love it. I love it. Well, I named the unicorn weird at, so does that mean we should name the bunny Marilyn? Probably, right? Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. I love her, I love her, and I love you, and you are the absolute stinking best. And I'm going to try to put everything back inside this bag as neatly as you had it packed. And of course, it probably won't work because you're smart and I'm not, but we'll try. Let's see. Oh, I just dropped all the Shebas in my lap, I think. That was intelligent. Way to go, Carrie. Okay. Actually, yeah, no, they're all over my floor now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I am such a dingle dwarf. But everything else is going safely back in the bag, and I will get the Shebas in my break in between this video and the next. But Marilyn, I love you so stinking much, like legit, like super duper duper love and adore you. You are just the most amazing girl, and seriously, you guys, weird at. W-E-I-R-D-E-T-T-E. -E -T -T -E. And I'm going to post the link in the drop box. Please subscribe her if you haven't already. I know she just recently broke 200 subscribers, which is such a huge milestone, and I'm so proud of her. Let's get her to three. I, I We got to help her grow this channel because she's fabulous. She's so sincere and genuine and lovely and amazing and wonderful, and I love her. So anyway, thank you from the bottom of my heart, sister. You are amazing. You made me so happy, and I love that my little star is just going to be like tinkly winkly in the rest of my videos today. I adore you. You are just, don't ever let anybody make you think you're less than you are. You are a fantastic, incredible human being. And I just love you with all my heart. Thank you for watching you guys. Thanks for bearing with me. I know this was long, but like I said, friend mails, I'm never going to make those short. I'm never going to rush through them because if somebody took the time to do all this for me, the very least I can do is take the time to showcase their generosity and kindness. Thank you for watching, guys. I will be back very soon with two more friend mail videos because holy cow, I am spoiled rotten today. I love you all so, so much, and I will be back soon with more stuff. Bye.